Here's how to customize the order confirmation email and a couple other things on Shopify. What's up guys, this is the Bit Branding channel. Welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategy. And as always, if you find something of value in this video, consider subscribing and turn on notifications. It really helps us out. Let's get started. So we're gonna jump into our Lil Bits treats test store account. Again, don't follow us. This is just a play store. You don't have to go in and act all crazy. <laughs> we wanna go to settings. We're gonna go then to notifications. Inside of notifications, you will see all the types of email notifications and SMS notifications that you can manipulate in here. It would actually give you the name and the definition of what exactly is that particular notification or message, right? Now, there's two things that you can do here. Whoa, is order confirmation. That's the one that we're gonna manipulate. But just like I said in the beginning, there's a lot of different things in here that you can manipulate. So I'm gonna show you how to do the order confirmation one. If we click on order confirmation, it's gonna give us all this HTML stuff, which could be a little bit confusing to a lot of people. Totally understandable. But what you can do here is actually change the verbiage or the copy of that particular email. So for example, let's say, so we have Little Bits Treats, which is a, a dog treats, right? A dog treat store. So I wanna say, it just says, thank you for your purchase, right? In between the brackets and the percentages and the weird HTML stuff. I wanna say woof, woof, exclamation. Thank you for your purchase, right? It's a little bit more on brand because we tend to bark around here a little bit. So woof, thank you for your purchase. Beautiful. If you wanna change any other things within the text, right, of your email, then you just wanna scroll down in here and look, for example, let's see. Whenever we see any sign of actual text, so it's gonna be text that's like in between the, the brackets, right, or the, or, the, or the other brackets, the carrot brackets or the other brackets, and that type of text is a text that you can actually manipulate a little bit so that it sounds a little bit better. You'll probably find it, yeah, towards the beginning. You'll receive an email when the order is ready for pickup. Boring. So let's change it to, you'll receive a quick, let's do a quick how when your package is off the leash. Parenthesis, ready for pickup. Because that may not be clear enough. Beautiful. You see? So it's very easy to just change a little bit of the verbiage. Another thing that you want to consider is the subject line. This one says order name. So it's going to pull up the name of that person. Um, order name confirmed. And that's it. Um, again, you can get a little bit more creative here and write a couple of things. Maybe have some emojis in there. Maybe like a doggy one or like a paw. Super cute. You can get very creative with it, depending on your industry, obviously. And then also you have SMS. Um, yes, I want to leave the page without saving. I do that sometimes. Um, you wanna definitely click save on that button before uh, you move on to anything else. So SMS, again, just the order message is gonna be right here. You can change some of that verbiage. Again, don't mess around with the things inside the brackets. Just play with the text that's outside the brackets, right? Now, in order to manipulate this a little bit better, we can go into the customize button right here. So the customize button is actually gonna give us uh, an actual preview, right? Of what this email is gonna look like. So we're gonna hit on that customize button right here on the left-hand side, and it's actually gonna show you an actual preview, not any of that HTML stuff, of how the actual email will look. Now, this is the order confirmation email, so it's gonna say order number confirmed, right? And it has little bits, treats, and just text. Boring, again, I wanna add my logo. So I'm gonna go choose file, I'm gonna do the logo, I'm gonna do open. Boom, it's right there on the right hand side. It doesn't update automatically over here for some reason, but I'm gonna click save. And then let me switch between this and the other one. Ooh, there it is already. Boom, perfect. <clears throat> now we have the logo right there. We can also manipulate the width of the logo so we can make it bigger. Let's make it 200, 200 pixels. Okay, that's better. And then the accent color, we can actually change the accent color. Let's say maybe we wanna do a little bit of red. Yeah. Save. And again, it might not change initially on that preview, but you go back and forth a little bit and uh, that should maybe hopefully do the trick. The order, nope. Let's go back and let's go back in to customize. 
And hmm, the accent color didn't change. Hmm, let's go change that again. Let's click save. Okay, now it's saved. Let's go back. Let's go into customize for the third time. Boom, there you have it, red button. Okay, besides making those tiny changes, we can also go through all the email templates. So like I said, this is the order confirmation email. With this little arrow here, you can actually see your other email. So this is uh, the email that shows them that something has been updated on their order. This one is the payment needs to be updated on that order. So I mean, again, there's a bunch of emails that you can, you can see and customize in here and that you can edit. So please go through these. If there's any verbiage or any colors or logos that you need to add, go ahead and do so because that will help your cohesiveness, right? Of the, of the whole store uh, and, and it will help your brand as well. It will help you feel a little bit, just a little bit better. It's that extra touch that just, mm, chef's kiss. I'm passionate about what I'm doing. So I'm just moving my hands like this. It makes everything better. There you have it. That's how you customize and manipulate the order confirmation email and any additional notifications or emails or SMS text messages that Shopify sends. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna hear from you. Leave some comments down below. If you have any questions that you may have, we would like to answer them for you. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit that like button, like, like, because that will alert the YouTube algorithm unicorns <laughs> to show this video to other people. All right, see you next time.